I just want to remind somebody that when God was orchestrating the Bible to be written, he had you in mind. And I think a lot of times we try to read the Bible in a more generalized view. We try to read the Bible as a whole, as God talking to every single one of us. But yes, although he's talking to every single one of us, that means that he is talking to you individually also, right? He has a personal relationship, a personal love for you. It's very personal and it should be taken that way. Um, so if you're ever reading the Bible, I suggest you reading it very personally, right? Not just God talking to everybody, but talking directly to you, right? Because I know a lot of people... A lot of fake Christians specifically will tell you that you're not that special, that God is not specifically talking to you. God is not specifically pointing out you. God does not have a, a plan specifically for you. Right. There's more people, more important people to worry about. There's um, people that have more struggles than you. There are people that need his love more than you. Don't ever listen to those people. Those are, those are not real Christians. Um, God is very personal when it comes to us. Right. Um, this is why I don't know for anybody else, but when I feel God's presence, when I talk to God, it feels very personal. It doesn't feel like he's so far away and I have to, you know, um, catch up with him. He has a million calls to, to answer and then he'll catch up with me. No, it feels as if he is always on that line. Right. As soon as I pick up that phone, he's already there. It doesn't feel like I have to wait for him, that somebody else is more important. That's conditional love. And God doesn't love you conditionally. He loves you unconditionally. So again, don't listen to that lie. God's love for you is very personal. Um, his protection is very personal. He doesn't play about you, right? His wrath is very personal when it comes to you. Um, he loves you dearly like a father, right? Just like a, a father would love their child. He loves you dearly. So don't ever listen to the lie of the enemy that you're not as important because other people are going through worse or God is too too big of a God to worry about just you, right? He's He's busy. He's doing other things. God is omnipresent. He's omniscient. He's all of that. He can do 50 million things at once. Don't ever believe that lie. Don't know who needs to hear that. But God loves you personally, not just generally.